Welcome back, everybody, to some Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I'm your host, the musical gamer. We're still here in the land of Mortitha. We could be climbing the uh, the world tree right now, the roots, but we are here to take care of a couple of uh, optional objectives. The first in being this side quest, which uh, we we couldn't do with just Rex and Jin, but what we can do with everybody else. I am relatively confident. So the way I have the team set up now is that Zeke is pretty much running your attacker. Rex is running uh, two attacker blades plus Nia is healing blade and Morag is pretty much a completely dedicated tank for the most part. I, I, hold on, I can't remember. Did I actually give her? I think I might have given her best. So I think Morag actually has a little healing capabilities too. But I do not foresee any difficulties. <laughs> like, like none whatsoever. For the most part at least. I mean with the... Uh, with Nia basically being so OP as a healer, I, I don't imagine I'm going to really have too much trouble uh, keeping the party alive, provided I can switch to her in time. Rope of Redemption. Keep Zeke alive. Zeke's a little squishy. That's, that's kind of the only problem here. Is that uh, without Cassandra, he's uh, taking a fair bit more damage. But the team is relatively well set up for the most part, I, I, I gotta say. This is uh this combination seems to work out pretty well. So until I could like figure out better combos and uh, better team dynamics and stuff, I mean I could be changing the blades around. I could be trying to really get um my arc combos and stuff set up the way I should want it, which is being able to go into break, to topple, launch, and smash relatively quickly, which is still something I don't think I can do with this setup. It's kind of the only drawback. But, at the very least, it's definitely more than good enough to kill all those guys. Which was the goal, so thank god. So retrieve the goods found in the evacuation center. Uh, we shall do that. We shall definitely do that. However, there's also other stuff up here. I was looking at the map earlier, and apparently there's also a heart-to-heart. -heart. There's a heart-to-heart -heart, uh, somewhere down the end of this highway. So, we should go find that, and we do have the other heart-to-heart -heart as well. Now that the party's back together, we can go take a look at that. I think it was uh, Mithra versus Bridget, and I, I don't exactly know what the hell they're going to be versing each other in, but it makes me a little worried. Just, uh, just a tad bit. You know what? Screw this. I'm going to the chain attack. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to overkill this thing, because <laughs> I can. Go, Mithra, go. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Uh, what else should we use? Bridget? Uh, uh, I was kind of hoping to... Oh no, I need the, um... Crap, I couldn't hold the other thing. Of course I was only going to get one thing. Uh, there's no uh, Elven Orbs to break. Crap, I didn't think about that. I did not think about that ahead of time. Let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, anybody get Splash Hazard? Should we get that soon? Oh, oh dear. Uh, can we heal? Thank you. And there's a the Splash Hazard. Okay, good. I was getting a little nervous. <laughs> I'm like, Zeke's getting a little low on HP, but uh, it's all it's all good. It's all fine. We, we got through that. Oh, Jesus. Uh, nope. No, thank you. Oh, God. No, 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 no. You won't stop that right this second. You can just come roll on by. I? I do not care in about you experience. in the slightest. I mean, where is this, um, heart to heart from where we are right now? It's a little bit further down. Though I am curious, what the hell is through here? Ooh, I see a treasure chest. There's tons of stuff we haven't explored here yet. So I am relatively okay with coming by here and doing what I can. I, I'm gonna show you first. Stay true to your oh no, of course you're running back there. Damn you. God damn you. If we can get, um, if we can get Super Pyra, I think that'd be pretty good. Oh, 
Wh whoever can get to that seal self-destructive in the top first wins. <laughs> More egg, it's a race. Who can get there first? I think it's gonna be me. Uh, oh dear. Let's do it. That probably killed him. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. Holy crap, man. God damn it, we are so strong now. This is, it's glorious. It's good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me up. Holy crap, okay. That was a little close. That was that was a little too close for comfort. We're not all focusing on the same dude. Can we please all focus on the same dude? Another one. Alright, Nia, let's keep the healing up. Aha! Uh, let's go for some stone. I haven't used any earth combos in a while. How about a Morak? Can we get the volcano? This way I can focus on just trying to go to the, um... Onto the firestorm. I think it's firestorm, right? Uh, can I? I don't think we can get to that in time. Unless we kill this guy really, really quickly. Done. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Haha! -ha. Oh, jeez! Dear here, Bridget. We go together. Pride of the Empire and blazing donor. I was gonna I thought I was gonna fall to my death for a second there. The Robolab Club Quarterly. That sounds like stuff for Poppy. You know, that's another good thing I should go take a look at. I should look and see and see what I can make in Poppy Swap. Um, and more stuff we can find in uh, Tiger Tiger. Because I'm almost positive now at this point in the game, Poppy's going to be... Oh, God damn it. No. No. I'm going to have to fight these things. I'll take you all on. Poppy's probably going to be like really strong at this point. I need, to, I need to look at my arts. I need to see if I can get those, those combos. Because that, that freaking... Working with Jin has taught me one thing, if anything else. Is that going into, into break, topple, smash... Or break, topple, launch, smash... It is way too good to not do. Uh, oh, this is... Let's now. Oh dear. Um, Nia, I'm, I'm gonna probably need you in a second here. We're doing okay. Alright, no, I'm getting, I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous. Nia, you come on out. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to actually do that move yet. Alright. Uh, how about it, guys? Can we get, um... Never mind. Save, we can get, uh... We can get some more... Oh my god, make up your goddamn mind, game! Jesus H. Christ! Alright, that's it. This is, getting, this is getting way too chaotic. It's getting way too chaotic. Chain attack. Just do it. Just do it. Way too much chaos. Just let me Way too much chaos. I don't care if there's anything to break or not. I just murder things, please. Hey, good, good. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. There's definitely some multi attacks in there. Like multi targeting moves. Not half bad. Oh, God damn it, man. These things just don't want to die. I hate these kids. 
I really hate these things. Okay, Mithra. Uh, hold on. Can we target this stupid thing over here? That's like almost dead. It's like I just noticed. This thing's like almost dead. And it should probably die. Sooner rather than later. We'll focus on the things that can regenerate after these other things are dead. If I can get out. Please let me out. Thank you, Gandhi. <laughs> Stop toppling me! I don't like it. I don't like being toppled. I'm gonna be toppling my other party members. Just don't don't do it to me. Doing it to me is just it's just rude. Fantastic. One left. Come on. You can kill this thing. Keep going, keep going, keep going. He's almost done. He's almost there. I I didn't need to use this. Why why did I use it? I'm just hitting buttons. Don't don't do that, gamer. Hitting buttons is like the worst thing you could do. <laughs> I have to teach myself. I have to I have to be more disciplined with this. It's like I see an art become available. I'm like, I'll use the art. It's like, wait, no, I I really shouldn't. Should I? Ooh. All right, not bad. Uh, redeeming strike. And what is this? Last hope. Key affinity rewards. Okay, people, people be getting stuff. What are we? What are we getting here? Two new things for Nia. Oh, so that's what that's for. <laughs> Good for you, Nia. Restores twelve percent of HP of uh, restores twelve percent HP of damage dealt when a special connects. Ooh, that's gonna be keeping me alive real easily. When landing hit restores 35% of damage dealt to the whole party. Jesus Christ, that is that is the OP thing right here. That is the really OP move here. Is this stupid. Restores 35%, 40, 45, 50% of damage dealt to the whole party. That is going to be extremely, extremely good once we can get there. And we need to use more chain attacks to actually get our, her cellular stimulus to level up too. God damn it. Nia. I knew there was more to learn than that. Like, sweet Jesus woman, you are goddamn good at what you do. Yeah, people people are not lying when they say Nia's kind of OP as a healer. But hey, I'm not complaining. Now I can really contribute. I love being overpowered in games. It makes me it makes me feel good just being able to annihilate Upgrade. everything. It makes me feel absolutely good being able to an annihilate just everything. Physical and ether defense by 7%. Now, is this additive or multiplicative? Because I, I'm assuming it's not like we get 5% and then we get 6%, so we get 11%, and then we get 18%. I I, I have to assume this is this this is not additive. This is just, it went from 6% to a 7% buff. That's actually going to be the better one, the last one. Getting for, Going from 8 to 10%, that's going to be a much bigger increase. Master Pond, are you pleased? Are you both a level, yes, you are both a level 4. You have a lot more to go? Yes, you do. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, speaking of my blades, though, what about Pyra? Has Pyra actually gotten anything new? Can't she get anything new as, as Mithra? You, there, there are a couple of things about the Pyra Mithra mechanics that I just, I still don't understand fully. Yeah, I still don't fully understand these. Hmm. Oh, speak to... Pyra at Corinne's house. There's a heart-to-heart -heart there. We should probably go do that. And making food. <laughs> of course. Making food. What could be more important than making food? Derp, derp. Earth, oh, hello. Me strength. Okay, what is this gonna do? I need five more levels of Earth Mastery. I think I can do that. Just need to engage the right blades. Now, who else do I have? Zeke? Well, Zeke has you equipped, obviously, so you're fine. Who else is some Earth Mastery here? Like, above level 1, preferably. You have level 2. Wait, no, that's right, I can't disengage you. Um... That, no, just... Thank you, Praxis, that's that's who I want. Gone. Looking forward to working with you again. Uh, okay, so I need... 
what did I need? I needed five levels of that. So the rest is probably going to have to come from Morag. If we can do it. Does Morag even have any Earth Blades? Uh, you do have Nim. But I'm looking for people with more than just level one. Otherwise, I might have to do some do some real finagling here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do some, I'm gonna have to do some real finagling. So, thinking about it, we need level eight. We need level three. I need level five. This will get us to level six. What would you do without me? Seven. Okay. Let's get Hold on. If I've actually started. if I've mathed this right, we might not need to actually do any finagling at all. Though it does depend. Does Rex have any Earth Blades that have... Yes! Uh, no. Wait, no, that's detached Nia. Looking forward to it. Oh, that's right! In a situation like this, it might be better for me to just disengage Nia as a Blade, bring her back to being a driver, and have her use My turn. Blade's field skills. Crap, I didn't even think about that. It's like... Huh. It's very interesting. Okay, well, this is clearly a bridge. The question is, is, do we, do we really want to go up here? The Genome Center. Okay. Well, uh, we don't have, uh... We don't have, um... Uh, what's her face equipped anymore? Now we have Azuki. This should be fine. If we're just fighting this one guy, it's not gonna be... Having, having weird blades equipped is not gonna really be an issue. Yeah, this thing's going out pretty quickly anyway. Alright, give me some more heat, Pyra. Oh, he's been launching smashed. So, hold on. This is giving me... Wait, this combo is giving me the exact sort of thing I need for that? Or, or am I already able to, um... Hold the, hold the freaking phone. Hold the goddamn freaking phone. Wait, what weapons are everybody equipped with right now? I need to look at this. So, okay, I'm not going to find anything with the Aegis Sword. I could topple with Aegis, the Aegis Sword. Not much else. I can break with you. Um, And I just break with a katana. So that's, that's fine, I suppose. You can smash with the lance. You can also smash... Oh, you can launch with... um. Uh, with Pandoria. So, Z can both launch and smash, technically. Right now, you can also... You're right, and what does a bitball do for you? Nothing. So, wait a minute. Does, does that mean Morag actually has the ability to... You can break. I, I guess, actually, we, we do already have the combos needed. Right? Because I can topple. I could topple with Anchor Shot. That's kind of the, the linchpin here. We have a couple people who can use Break. And we have a couple people who can use both Launch and Smash. I'm the only one right now who can topple. In fact, um, I think only Tora and I have natural topple abilities. With his um, big boost. I need to look into this more. I need to see who can do what exactly. But, I mean, ironically, we actually do have the ability to pull off those combos. It's just uh, a little, a little weird. I suppose. I, I, I suppose what it should be is that we should probably have one person who can break and then maybe smash. Or break and launch or break and smash. That way you have somebody who's not like right next to each other in the combo. Is what I would imagine be good. So then we could say like have Morag be the one who can break because I know she can with um with Bridget. She can break with Azor Hellfire. This doesn't let you do anything spectacular. And then, yes, you can also smash. Zeke can launch, and I can topple. So it would go from, like, um, Morag or, or Zeke or anybody anybody else starting to break. Because these, these timers also start going by quicker the further you get into the combo. So then, you'd go from break into topple with Rex. And then somebody would have to launch and somebody would have to smash. Alright, I, I suppose... The way we, we've kind of got things set up for the most part is working. Quiet. Ooh, no bundle bloom. I don't even know what those are for. We've been collecting actually quite a few of them. So I'm not entirely sure what we can uh, what we can use them for. Oh my 
this is a long ladder. What the hell is up here? Are we actually, are we actually climbing the skyscraper? Like, all the way to the top? Oh, hello! What are you? Oh, gee, whoa! Gee, whoo! Don't do that to me, game. My turn. Ah, now we need leaping. Lovely. Okay. Um, are you kidding me? I can't. Oh, that is just so mean, game. Why can't I pause on a ladder? Ugh, you suck. God damn it! Why can't I just go into my goddamn blade menu on a ladder? Ah, oh, God. Okay, who is leaping? Well, you can go away. Doesn't, um... Hold on, doesn't Aegean have leaping? Then again, the problem here is... Well, no, 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 hold on. If I just release Nia as a blade... Yeah, that, that's what I should do. Nia, go away. We'll live without Nia equipped right now. Uh, in fact, I could probably equip whoever it is on Rex who has the leaping ability. I think it's you, Aegean, isn't it? Yes, level two leaping. Is that Hello there. enough? Hmm. I'm actually not sure. Looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm actually not sure. Looking forward to it. I don't think anybody else is leaping. Hmm. Don't let me get rusty. Well, that's gonna be minorly awkward. So we needed level six leaping and level eight earth mastery. Do we actually have enough of that? I should I should just take a look. So the two people with the leaping, you have level two leaping. You can't actually get to level three. No, wait, no. We do have. Was it level six or level five? Hold on, I think if I just look at the map real quick. If I just look at the map, I think it'll be there. Right? No level five. Okay. For a second, I thought it was level six. We should still have all the earth blades equipped that we need. So I, j I just want to see what the hell's up here. God, I still don't know why they don't let you at least go into the blade menu. Like, why isn't the blade menu actually, like, mapped to a button? It's actually a very good point, with um, with how frequently we have to go into it to actually, like, switch blades around. You'd think they'd want to map it to, like, a specific button. Earth, grant me strength. Go, wall jump, go. Yeah, keep climbing. Ah. Hey, right, what's up here? Oh, do not tell me it's just a what collection point. Maybe Agronomy? All the way up here? Alright, whatever you say, game. Truly. Oh. The rest is a wonder to explore. View of view a lost is time. Of its own page yeah, in my journal. Holy crap. Alright, what's this heart to heart? Th this is where the heart to heart is. Oh, Blade Nia. Who would have thought a place like this existed into the cloud sea? Yeah. Us salvagers dive deep, but I've never dreamed there'd be this enormous space down here. You'd be hard-pressed finding another place as vast as this, that's for sure. Did people live here once, do you think? Probably. If the whole space is filled with buildings like the ones around here, they must have been a heck of a lot of people living in them. That's a good point. The, this place must have had a huge population. True that. And the number of people aside, can you imagine the work it would take to cover this whole place in buildings? I can hardly imagine. I've salvaged a whole bunch of treasures over the years with functions we could never figure out. If this world is where they came from, I've got to say it makes sense. In any age, the ambitions of men build civilization up, and those same ambitions bring it crumbling down. That's so tragic. Gee, Zeke, you, you really had to go there, you morbid bastard? Why is this place in ruins, anyway? Another good question. Because of the cloud sea, there must have been a war. I, you know, the way this place looks, it had to have been war. It had to have been some sort of conflict. There must have been a war. 
I think you hit the nail on the head. Some terrible war sounds pretty likely. But would a war cause this much devastation? Depends on the weapons. Maybe it was some natural disaster or other. Well, maybe, but... I don't know. This kind of destruction? I mean, it's not just, like, age. It was a natural disaster. You'd think the whole place wouldn't have been affected. Well, if, if it's as big of a city as it looks. I mean... I don't know. Not out of the question, but a natural disaster is not going to level everything. It wouldn't be this widespread. Oh, good, Zeke. You, you and I think the same way. Take a look outside. Ruin as far as the eye can see. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like everything was just, like, purposely decimated. You could say the same about war, though. What kind of a war could destroy a city this big? Well, we just don't know. Maybe they had some kind of incredible weapon we've never seen. Or just one hell of a lot of them. I hear a crazy number of blades fought in the war 500 years ago. You think something like that happened before? Well, Hyra slash Mithra have sunk continents. Hard to say for sure. I think maybe we need to explore a bit further. This place is beyond anything we've imagined, after all. To be honest, I think it's actually kind of exciting. Really? Well, I guess so. It's a whole new place. North of the Unknown. It's a whole new place with, 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 with some really weird potential uh, history behind uh, it. I don't know. Ooh, hello! Ha! Huh, I thought this looked suspicious. You're all mine. What's in here? A rare core crystal! Nice! I'm wondering if we can pull any rare blades. I think we have like four or five of these things now. There could be a good chance we actually get a new rare blade. Then again, who do I give it to? Hmm. I mean, here? it's kind of pointless giving Rex blades at this point. You can just in, you can just engage them anyway. So I mean, it's kind of silly to bond things specifically to him. Uh, is there an easy way to down? Because there is this um heart to heart over here. Let's actually um get ourselves over here first. We're here. So, shall we? Come out, come out. I think we, we can survive nice this fall. Experience. We can survive this fall, no problem. Oh, I should also probably re-equip my blades, shouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, that might Guess be a good idea. Back. Oh, Nicely those guys are back. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's re-equip the, the, the blades we should have. Which also means turning Nia back into a uh, blade. Showtime! Who did I have equipped here? Was it um? I think it was. I think it was Rock. But we could, we could run with Perun for a while. I'm fine with that. Uh, you need. You just came back actually in your mission, so you know what? I'll I'll hold off for a, just a just a quick second. Hello there. I will attend to your every need, at least for fighting. Oh, ow. Ow! My legs. Alright, this heart-to-heart -heart should be around here, right? Or is it on the other side of this thing? Ah, oh, crap, it's on the other side of this thing. Damn it, I... Mm. Went to the wrong goddamn thing. Let's go. Where do we go from here? Oh, jeez. Woo! Thought I got myself stuck. Oh boy. Alright, be careful where, where I leap. Look before you leap, gamer. It's probably going to save you. Ah, uh, Mythic versus Bridget. I need... Oh! Okay. <laughs> of course. Uh, I need to engage. I am at your service. I need to engage Dromark, which is kind of weird to see Dromark with Rex. Wait, can Rex ride Dromark like Nia? No, of course not. Only Nia can ride Dromark. God damn you. <laughs> You're showing freaking... Freaking, uh, freaking preference right there. Okay. What do we got? Seems like a good place to rest. Hey, Mithra. May I ask you something? Huh? Something up? I read over my journal again. We used to fight each other quite a lot during training, didn't we? And it looks like I usually came off worse. Don't take it too hard. You really gave it all you had, but 
I guess I've just got certain attributes. Sorry, what did you want to ask? Well, according to my journal, it looks like there was one time where I got the better of you. Huh? It doesn't go into much detail, but still, besting the Aegis is quite the achievement, don't you think? Are you gonna... <laughs> are you gonna really just kind of like leverage the fact that you won once? In which you probably lost like, yeah, I don't know, hundreds of times? I don't know. I mean, I guess it's an accomplishment? I really need to know how it happened. How I managed to beat you. That's bull. Oh! Huh? Your journal is lying to you, Bridget. I never lost to you, not once. I don't think so. Why else would I have written it down? When exactly? What kind of match was it? It was in a camp in the Tornan Borderlands. On the last day of training. <laughs> that doesn't sound right at all. It's nonsense. Oh no. How should I protest? Are you calling me a liar? Oh dear. Uh... I'm gonna go with it. Are you calling me a liar, you Sundere bitch? Are you calling me a liar? The truth hurts, Bridget. Ooh! You purposefully waited for a time when I was tired out for that fight. That's a cowardly tactic. Shut it. We were pretty evenly matched. My journal said, We're almost level in terms of ability. There's nothing strange about me winning once in a while. Hang on. Why were you recording stuff like that in so much detail anyway? It seems like something Bridget would do. Let me get a look at that journal. I bet it needs a few corrections. Oh, stop it, Mithra. Cut that out. Don't you dare try to taint the truth. Uh, <laughs> um... Oh, Hydro Mark. This is why you're involved. What? Speak up. Do you really think it's wise to quarrel like this? This is not a quarrel, Dromark. Withdraw if you want to retain your whiskers. Jesus, don't hurt the cat. That's right. This is just a friendly bit of rivalry. So keep your nose out of it. Bridget, you will know my power today. For real. Mithra, you're going to eat those words. Oh dear. Uh, Dromark, you might want to run. Well now, you two certainly have a strange concept of friendship. God damn it. Okay, well, uh, those two apparently are more rivals now. Uh, oh, key affinity reward level four. Okay then, that apparently worked. Sweet, level four stuff for uh, Mithra. Whoa. I feel a change. I could use my power like this. Uh, okay. Raise affinity in combat. Recharges art or special used by 80% upon landing a critical hit. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll take that. And you just got Light Mastery level 3 and Girls Talk level 3. Okay, then. I'm sure that's uh, going to be helpful. Bait attacks, deal critical hits, perform blade combos. Yeah, I haven't really been able to do any of these, um, these particular uh, offensive-minded things for a lot of people because a lot of them... Especially the blades that I can never de-equip and send them a merc missions. It require a lot of, like, killing specific enemies. I'm probably going to end up doing that off-screen. Just going back and killing all the stuff that I, I, I need to for a lot of these characters. It's kind of, it's kind of obnoxious. That should get me a spot on the team. <laughs> if you ask me, it's kind of, it's just kind of obnoxious. Uh, oh god. Alright, well, uh, let's go collect that, uh, reward now. For the, uh, for the side quest. Where do we go from here? We're back! In here? I hope you will be the bearer of good news. Oh no. Not you. God damn it, not you. Where the hell is this taking me? Oh. Treasure acquired. Has this been here the whole time? R rusted old watch? Excuse me? What the hell is this? But the old machine seems to be broken for good. I... I don't... Ex I don't understand. I really... Really don't understand. I feel I can go far! Oh, good for you. You just hit level four. <laughs> Use Rumble Sphere. Could probably actually max you out relatively quickly. Uh, that's that's besides the point. What the hell is this thing? I just picked up. I picked up a watch. I want to watch. I wonder who it used to belong to. It's a key item. Very strange. 
Okay, well, uh, we have a watch. We've watched some Heart to Hearts, and we, we've we kind of explored this place a lot more now. God. <laughs> Malicious Dimitri. Uh, I might go kill you off screen. I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't like fighting these things on camera. They take way too long, and they're kind of a pain in the ass. So, uh, when we come back with some more Xenoblade Chronicles 2, we'll finally make our way up the world tree and see if we can get back above the cloud sea. This is the Musical Gamer signing off. Thanks all for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you guys then.